Welcome everyone, Tuesday night, 7 o'clock-ish, post-Earth Day. Every day's Earth Day, isn't it? To ground yourself, find yourself planted on this beautiful spinning blue jewel floating in space that everyone around the cosmos wants a piece of. Yes, sir. Welcome to Center of Light Radio, Center of Divine Enfoldment and Reinforcement. Strap in all my brothers and sister astronauts. Actually, take the strap off. What the hell? As we launch for inner space, it's always about inner space. Center of Light Radio, the transformation station, and the station of the soul. I have a wonderful program for you tonight. Tonight, my first hour is going to be Victoria Smith, and we're going to be speaking about the Four Points Spiritual Expo that's going to happen in September 21st and 22nd. Yes, truly, he's going to be there. Why not, okay. get in your, <laughs> why not get in your car? Road trip's always fun. Bring some other knuckleheads with you. Come down and be a part of getting your life on track with holistic healing and so forth and so on. If you would, please share this to your wall. You can always uh, find in this forum a group of links. One of those links will take you to my YouTube page. Please subscribe, give me some thumbs up. Also, maybe leave me some comments on some of the archived interviews that you may resonate with. And when I find that comment under that particular interview, I will know that you like that subject and I will do what I can to have more of such type guests on the show in the future. You can always contact me, Keith. I would like to learn more about this field of, it's always out of the box thinking. It can be spiritual, it can be ufology it can be paranormal it can be crypto i mean all that stuff right but also you will find a donate link in here helps me to support my work to do what i am able to do ongoingly i love what i do i sit in this chair all day long and i wear these chairs out if i got paid a penny per keystroke on my keyboard bill gates look out <laughs> I do this all day long. It's my love. It's my joy. Are you living your love? Or are you living your joy? Simple question. Are you? I am now doing readings. I don't play the psychic, though I have intuitive abilities, very heightened intuitive abilities right now, currently in my life at that. Bragging point, because I'm very confident and what I deliver and what I deliver is quality I don't I don't mess around if I am wrong I'm wrong but I will bring through what I think is important for you not necessarily what you want to hear yes you are paying for what you want to hear but I'm not gonna play that card that way just because it's something you want to hear that tickles the hairs in your ears that makes you feel warm and fuzzy I just can't do that but what we will do instead is get you to a space of explosive clarity explosive clarity where there is no question there is no question there is no doubt therefore you can move into something that would really bring you lots of joy in your life hello everyone hello everybody in this forum for uh, I want to say thank you for sharing I want to announce those who are here it's important to me <clears throat> that you are recognized everyone wants to be recognized do we not even holy men want to be recognized if not they would be in a homalian cave but they need to be recognized and want to be recognized as to why they are able to impart to all of us powerful spiritual messages so acknowledging the light in those divine men who come with messages as well likewise i want to acknowledge the light in you carol carl lynn marie vincent Leffler, Alan Fitzgerald, what's up, dog? I remember something from high, uh, early high, early school about you, sir. It's, it comes across my mind often. Hello, Alan Fitzgerald. Hope Mike's doing well. Joan, Lewis, Pri, Dana, Mar, Mars, Mari Carmen, Mary Carmen, um, Melissa, Kristen Davis, Nori Love. Hi, Nori. Kelly, Rod Bland, Drummond, Foo, Memphis. Bill Street legend, Darnell Morgan from Canada, Sana, Tandy, Jason, Judy Nix. What's up, Jay? JJ? Call her JJ. Everyone, my name is Keith Anthony Blanchard. I am thinking about changing my name, not because it sounds cool, because it's important to me. I'm shifting out of 
Keith Blanchard mode. I'm letting that guy go. I'm just letting it go. Just letting it go. Center of Light. I'm going to be right back after this commercial break with my guest, Victoria Smith. And we're going to be speaking all about some Four Points Spiritual Expo, September 21st and 22nd. Why not? Trust that I will guide you in whatever you do. Just remember to breathe and do your very best to live in love. Give in love. Be in love. And love you shall receive.
Welcome back to Center of Light Radio, Center of Divine Enfoldment and Reinforcement. I'm going to get down to the interview now with Victoria Smith's first hour. Second hour, I have a mystery guest and a mystery topic. It's going to be fun. Let me tell you a little bit about my guest. Let me get my notes. Victoria Smith, she's putting on this magnificent, powerful, I just got a spiritual hit. I always get hits going to the bathroom. <laughs> that this is going to be a very big thing not only this event ongoingly she's going to be very successful in this endeavor the fourth points spiritual expo september 21st and 22nd by circle i guess i'm gonna pronounce it hope i'm pronouncing this correctly key circle of key is a holistic life event this event brings together those who seek information about alternative health organic living and overall well-being overall well-being that's it covers everything something there for everyone here you also get to explore the world of the paranormal and mystical world that intrigues so many but are afraid to ask the question what did i just see hear feel we will have tarot readers cbd products oils whatever that is, Reiki and healing touch practitioners, massage therapists, sound bowl healing. I've had it with Madril Gale Little. Oh my God, it's like a space shuttle under your ass. It's amazing. Chakra balancing, art for he art for healing, and even new technologies that include the use of essential oils for natural healing using. <laughs> I love this gadget, light and electrical energies to encompass the body like and follow at circle of key that's circle of qi to stay informed about new additions workshop announcements and more let me get to this little gadget over here welcome to center of light radio victoria smith hello hi dear how are you this evening good how are you doing good let's get right into the thick of it what got you into this labor of love? <laughs> Let's see. About three years ago, I um, started having my own spiritual journey that just took me on a path that said I needed to help others to understand what's out there. Um, like you, I you know had a, had a kind of an epiphany that said I just need to help others and get guidance to what's going on out there. I started studying and I started doing research and I found a whole bunch of people out in this area that had no idea even existed until I learned uh, about their schooling and their practices and of course their medicinal practices as well. So it's just been ongoing since then. And uh, of course, you know that I, I co-hosted an event like this, the Memphis Metaphysical Fair in 2017, um, which was uh, co-hosted back then. And then I just took over from here and I turned it into more of a holistic uh, wellness expo than just a metaphysical. So it's an expansion of what I did before. I'm excited for it. Was that the expo that I worked with you? That yes, we worked together? Was. That was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm happy to see you in the driver's seat. Like Thank I said, you. I think you're going to really push this in a really good way. And people people are going to not, they don't, it seems like they're responding to the event. What they're really responding to is the event, the person who created it. That's what they're responding to. It's the energy of the vision of the one that it's inspiring. And I think you're going to do a fantastic job with that. And I'm really excited to be a part of it. And thank you for having myself and the platform of Center of Light to be yes. a part of your beautiful creation it's, it's just great yes well yeah i mean you you really kept me on that journey always keeping in touch with me saying what's up what's next what's next what's next so this is what's next um you know i i opened up my my digital marketing agency and then i just jumped right into this right after i did that so it just it just kind of guided me and and said keep going forward and so now i'm dedicated to working with um the holistic practitioners of our community and, and across the United States. I have several clients that I work with. So this is just an expansion of what I'm doing here. I see you have a lot of people supporting. I went and looked at your circle of key Facebook page a while ago and it is something like 2,700. Yes. <laughs> and it's Lights. international. International that's followers a, as well. That's, that's still yeah. a good number. In other words, some attention is being gotten there. Yes. 
And it's just, it's a matter of building the community too. And, you know, we just kicked it off in January. So it's, it's really just getting it started and getting the word out there. And, and by doing this, this opportunity is allowing me to get that word out there more. And it, it's, um, the joy, the love that I have for sharing this information with people. It's, it's not about just the paranormal. It's not just about, you know, understanding what's out there. It's also understanding what's in here, what's in your heart and, and knowing how to answer that, that calling when it's given to you, you know that from experience and, and we just have to follow that journey. And that's what I'm doing. I was very well said, young lady. <laughs> yes, I do know it. And I'm glad to see it reflecting in you and other people, but speak since you and I have in this conversation, it's, it's, it's when you see something and you know, it represents something that is just not only good for yourself, but has no choice but to ooze over in other people's lives. When you pick up said torch, it feels, or it may feel like at first, that it's some sort of burden. Well, I gotta put some time out of my miserable life <laughs> to put this thing into motion. But when you, when you pick this thing up and realize, then the things that you've been normally doing, they, they get lighter as well. So it's just, we become a part of something consciously greater than ourselves. And yes. then it gives us motivation and we we'll really want to do it. Making phone <laughs> calls every day, typing on the keyboard. Like I said to you in the green room, green room, um, <laughs> that if I got paid by the keystroke on my keyboard, I would be a rich mofo. <laughs> yes, you will. And, and keep that motivation going. One and day so you work, you work to this level of capacity as well. I mean, you go out and get. Yes. And we, and we don't have people just from here locally. We have people from across the country coming. I mean, I'm working with somebody that's getting uh, vendors from California coming in. Of course, you know, my uncle, who I'm very you know, very close with, he has his, his holistic um, online shop that we sell merchandise for holistic, you know, holistic living. So it's a matter of bringing all those those facets together and, and putting it in front of people and saying, look, there's more out there that you guys can be doing better for yourselves and and living a better life and that's what i want to give to people and give them an opportunity to understand to get their life on track yep exactly (laughs) i dig it yeah i'm looking forward to being there i'm looking forward to doing the interviews at all the tables i love i'm like like you i'm a little kid in a candy store when i go to a metaphysical spiritual expo it's like you know picking up all the stones and feeling them and (laughs) feeling what feels like me Uh, But I'm looking forward to doing the interviews of all the people. I have as much joy playing that role, uh, the Center of Light radio role, as well as I'm going to have meeting and greeting people that come to the booth that are interested in my work. But I love doing the talk. So Larry Flaxman is going to be there. He's been on Discovery Channel as well as Ancient Aliens. Is that right? Yeah, he's been on Ancient Aliens. He's done the... um Ancient Aliens, he's done, he's done Ghost Lab, and he's also, you know, a best-selling author. So we've got that under our wraps. We've also got another best-selling author, of course you, a best-selling author. And then we've got a, a third best-selling author. Her name is Lynette Marie. She's an organic guru, and she's a, the author of Feel for the Body. She's one of our uh, top holistic uh, speakers on organic living and organic lifestyles, how to use hemp through the, the natural process and how you can in, incorporate hemp to your lifestyle. Um, and then we also have Dr. Jason Rand, who is uh, best known for Planet X, The Return of Planet X, that book that he did a few years ago. And he's also got more books coming out here pretty soon. So he's, uh, those are our five keynote speakers that we've got on the panel that, and and of course we added a, a last minute one, Dr. Uh, Rita Louise, who's joining in. She's a um, naturopathic doctor um, it, who Keith introduced me to. Thank you for that. And uh, she's joining the panel now as our fifth keynote speaker. So we are excited to have that happening um, on that last day. You know, I thought I was short. Dr. Rita Louise is very tiny, but boy, is she a powerhouse of information. There is not a field in anything outside the box. Not only can she play in, you'd have to keep up with her. She is redonkulous. Redonkulous, yeah. very, very popular. Tell me a little bit about this panel that's cool. going to take place on Sunday. Yeah. Um, so, sorry, I got to grab some water there. Yeah. Same. <laughs> the, uh, the panel on Sunday is going to be our last event for the weekend, and it's going to bring together again those five keynote speakers that we just spoke of, and they're going to be talking about just general information, covering their books, covering their backgrounds, covering their knowledge base. 
Um, it's going to be an open panel for people to ask them questions. We're going to be doing a kickoff of the of the panel by allowing guests to actually write in to our Facebook page and actually present questions for us to present to the panel so they can get prepared. So it's not going to be any surprise to them what the questions are going to be before they come. And uh, we're just trying to bring together a multitude of knowledge from different genres, paranormal, you know, uh, spiritual, uh, obviously medical and medicinal, and, you know, just trying to, to incorporate everything into the facet of what this event is all about. Um, all of these things play a role in our everyday lives, but people don't really understand how. And so that's what we want them to be able to answer. That's what we're doing for the whole day and the last event. I'm digging the background music. <laughs> oh, that's what our, is um, that? It's our recording studio. Sorry, we've got something in the studio. Actually, I, I share space. Studio G Memphis is a recording studio here in my office now, so they're in the studio recording some gospel music tonight. <laughs> is this a, is this like just a simple home studio? Is it a state of the art studio? I mean, is this what? It's a, it's a it's a state of the art studio. They, I mean, it's plug and play like your your standard um, you know record producers now. But he's an engineer. He's a local um, local artist who has been doing this for quite a while. And like I said, I wasn't expecting them to be in the studio tonight. I just found out this afternoon. So I'm kind of digging it. Hey, somebody's creating art while we're trying to create uh, some another vision. Everybody's plugging it. I'm digging it. <laughs> yes. So what are you projecting? No, we're not going to go. I was going to ask you what you're projecting on numbers. Let's not go there. Let's not pigeonhole the, the possibility. But I do, I do know that it's, I do know it's going to be in a phenomenal turnout. I mean, like seriously, phenomenal turnout. I believe that in my intuition. Not only is it going to be, well, we did good. I think it's going to be like, whoa, what the heck just happened? <laughs> well, like you said in, in in your thing, you know, what is, what did I just hear, see, and feel? Kind of experience. You know, I work I work with my guides every day you know like you I, I too had an awakening like I said and you know it was really with the um, and I, I don't want to go into it too deep but with the passing of my parents five and seven years ago now that's what kind of guided me on this journey and um, my mom was a very spiritual person um, she was raised Catholic as was my father but I really didn't have a place in the church growing up and so I had to find my way. <laughs> you weren't a black sheep were you no, 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 no. We we were military, so we didn't really have a, a, a foreground. We we moved a lot, so there really was no you know foundation for us. And our family was our foundation, the four of us. And so we just kind of guided from there. But you know, after after they passed, I, I started having a lot of experiences happening to me that you know family understands, some of the family understands, but others don't. And so it was kind of a Thing that I kept under wraps, and then something just said, you know what? Just speak of it. Speak the truth, and and this is what's happened. So, and coming out has actually opened a lot of uh, discussions with other family members, which has been pretty awakening for me. <laughs> so I'm excited to to be able to share that with people, and and like you, um, you know, I have intuition, I have gifts, and I use them for more of my self worth than anything because I don't want to give anybody the wrong direction um, until I get comfortable with it. So. Madra Gale going to be there? Madra will be there. Madra is our center booth. She's the first person you'll see when you walk in, the last person you see when you walk out. Love uh, her, it. Her crystal, um, her crystal skulls will be on site, as will uh, Celtic Reiki will also be in town from Nashville, who is also a crystal skull um, healer as well. So you'll see that in the forefront when we first walk <laughs> in, and then you're going to see a lot of different vendors that are from here around Memphis. Um, we've got several... Um, Tarot readers. We've got a couple of readers. Um, Charlotte Neville, who is also a, a spiritual medium, she's going to be on site. Um, Joanne Kistler, who is a, uh, a new addition, she is um, going to be presenting in my mother's eyes. She does Yandi inner inner Yandi inner self healing, uh, which is basically connecting with your inner self and your child. So that's going to be a huge presentation for her. She's uh, just getting started in Memphis. Um, and I'm just really excited to present some of these newcomers to the, to the community as well. Everyone, if you would like, you can go to my Facebook friends and look up Madra Gale, one word, little. Check her out. She, she is the real deal. She is the real deal. Some years ago, a couple, three years ago, I had a singing bowl healing session in her office. When you walk into her office, you see a chair. Under the chair is all these gemstones deliberately laid out in whatever pattern or form that she feels. Stones everywhere. 
And when you sit there, you whine in just a little bit and you get to fall into a really nice, cool, groovy, spiritual space of just effortlessness. And when she starts ringing those bowls, <laughs> I found myself in a cave with a spiritual or two spiritual masters. And Madra went in there with me and we talked about it when I got out of the session. She said, yes, keep, I was there. And we started having dialogue as if we were still in the cave it's amazing also is kevin hutchins going to be there yes he will be mm -hmm. everyone jump seat kevin hutchins in my friends list um phenomenal artist oh my god he's a phenomenal artist so i remember... need to be there as well with her paintings as well um she's the uh, owner of art body soul here in memphis um she's got an art gallery that she presents a lot of spiritual um art as well uh, kevin is presented there at her gallery so she'll be there I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm excited. I have all my stuff ready. I need to order some books, and but I, I it's like a kid in a candy store for me. It's it's just um, kind of like a music event that I like a music event that I've been looking forward to playing with a certain band or something. And when those times come around for me, they're really really special for me. So I put my all into it, like you, as to why you and I have in this dialogue. We're going to be right back, everyone. I am Keith Anthony Blanchard. And tonight we're speaking about get your life on track through holistic, I forgot what the banner says. Let's look at the banner. Let's see what it says. It deserves its attention. And so I'm now looking at the end of a song. <laughs> Give me one moment. There we go. Get your life on track through holistic wellness Practices, September 21st and 22nd. I'm going to be there. What other reason do you need? Get in your car, come to Memphis, Tennessee, and have yourself a grand old time. I'll be right back. All things are possible. You must choose to be accountable, responsible, enough to believe and open your heart to receive.
time for you to plan out your life Seeing what you do, fire on the side It's all up to you to make it what you can It's of your own free will, what don't you understand? Choice, life's a choice It's your choice, your life is a choice Choice, life's a choice It's your choice, your life is a choice Welcome back to Center of Light, Center of Divine Enfoldment and Reinforcement. It's about the soul. What is the soul? People think the soul is the highest aspect of what you are. It's really not. It's the part of you that God projects onto a screen, the filter of your thoughts, your feelings, what you think is you. It's a divine aspect of yourself. Yes, it is the seat of consciousness. When you look in the mirror and you see your physical body, your meat suit, your flesh and bones, what you're looking at is karma. What you're looking at is karma. Karma is the glue that binds us to the body. You can be driving in your car and you're 35 years old. If in such a moment, you, you karma, your last trace of residual karma is complete, you're gone. The car will crash and you're gone. You're just done. What is the soul? The soul is the highest aspect of you with an idea. Okay? Welcome to Center of Light tonight. We're talking with my dear friend, powerfully. She don't joke around. She's into the movement. What is the movement? That thing that we're all trying to do to become the best we that we can be. Hello, Victoria. Welcome back to Center of Light. Hey, hon. Thank you for doing this. I was quite enjoying the band in the back. It was a little thumpy. It sounded like someone had a car with a boom in stereo you see at a gas station or something. They were just thumping down. I'm, I was quite enjoying it. I love people creating things. When I do a spiritual work, a book, yeah. a musical album, and I say, I'd like to hire you for the cover, and they say, what would you want? What do you want? <laughs> I don't want to tell you what I want. You're the <laughs> artist. I want to see what you have to say about this thing. And then after they give me the the, pro, the prototype, then I'll give a little more guidance. But I like the artist to be the spring. Isn't that where creator is? Yes. Amen. So let's talk, let's talk about this fair. What is it you would like the listening audience, viewing audience to know about this fair? In other words, make it easy for them to say yes to not yeah. only get in their car from Memphis, but from out of town to come to this, what I think is going to be a powerful a luminous event well there's nothing like it around here actually the i mean the closest we have is of course national with the galactic expo no knock off to anybody that's out there already doing this but this is an expansion of what they're doing um here you're going to be able to explore holistic living from this the sense of you know we just celebrated earth day yesterday and we're, we're still going through that transformation as we as we go into the next day uh, so it's it's all about giving back to mother earth and father sky that's where my journey began was with shamanic healing so you know, it's all about giving back to those that gave to us. And so organic living is, is our way of doing so. Um, essential oils is a big part of today's life in all of the practices that we deal with in the, in the holistic living. We also deal with um, food. food. Food is the new Rx. Uh, Dr. Watts, uh, Organics Care, is one of the people that I follow tremendously. And, and I want to shout out to Dr. Watts because she is a uh, She's on a mission to uh, teach people that food is the, the prescription of life. Food is the, the thing that keeps us going, and, and we don't need prescription medications. We need farm to earth, and, and that's what she's giving back. Um, so uh, that's one of the people that I want to I give attention to for that. Uh, she will be there um, 
uh, giving away some of her products and doing other things as well. And then again, that's Dr. Watts Organic Care. We also have uh, Lynette Murray, who is an organic guru that I, that I mentioned before, Feel for the Body. It, it's again, it's, it's talking about the nutrients that the earth gives us that we have gotten away with, with uh, processed foods and, and living on natural foods that we, we have on the shelves today. It's, um, we're just trying to make people understand that we have to go back to the ways of our ancestors and, and nurturing our body the right way instead of through pharmaceuticals and through unhealthy processed foods that have, you know, glyphosate. glyphosate. If you don't know about glyphosate, you learn about it at this event. And it's one of those things that plays a dramatic role. Um, and you're, you're going to see a lot of that. Um, one of the other things that we have is uh, CoherbinLife.com, which, again, it is a family member of mine's website, and we do sell organic care. Coherban Life is it's, uh, California Urban Life is what that stands for. But we sell all these organic products that you can get at the grocery stores, but at a discounted price. Um, and you can get them just like you get things on Amazon. So please go there and get your essential oils, get your organic foods, get, get your Cliff Bars. I mean, we have everything on that site. I mean, we just... We just relaunched with a new new site, new vision. So um, check that out, and and you'll see that there's opportunities out there for you to live a healthier life within a budget. You don't have to go and spend thirty dollars for you know these things that you get off the shopping commercials now. That what do they call them? The the fresh uh, freshmarketnow.com or whatever it is. I can't remember them all, but but all of this is going to be under one roof. You're going to have an opportunity to to sit down, talk with these people, understand what their missions are for each of their um, businesses and um, and their sites that they deal with across the country. You know, what, you know, what, Victoria. What I think is really, you just said something. It sparked something in me that I think is very, very powerful. When you go to in a spiritual expo or any store, you know, speaking of store, we all have you seen that meme? It's a picture of the inside of a grocery store, and it says <laughs> the health food section. What does it yes. make everything else in the store? Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's what I think is equally I important. Go ahead, darling. Say. <laughs> Say again, please. I said, why do we always bypass the produce? We always go right for the processed foods, don't we? Yeah, it's tasty. They know the sh the salt sugar formula. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. All right. Now you're what, you, what's important, I think, at any store, any spiritual fair, is not only the stuff. The stuff is cool, yeah. but it's the person behind the stuff. Because you're really not buying the stuff. You're right. buying the expression and the spirit of the person that says, this is an expression of me. All you're buying is a business card. You're just buying something. Yes, the, the things you're buying have their own properties and their own energies and their own value and all those things. Totally. But it's the person you're attracted to. That's why it's called becoming your brand. It's you. They want more of you. Would you agree with that, dear? Absolutely. That's, that's what I do every day. I build brands. I build... I build the experience. I build the the value of what's behind the product. It's not just about the product. It's about the mission of that brand. So your brand is not just you, your your picture, your your book. It's it's about everything that goes into it. So you're building that brand, and that's what I'm all about. And these are all brands to me, and and they're all very important to this whole mission of what I'm doing. Because again, I'm not just planning on doing this in Memphis. Memphis was my starting point. I want to take this to other communities and do it in other cities down the road. And, and this is just a kickoff to what the future holds. And I'm doing it in communities that don't have the um, necessarily the fourth right information. Memphis is a highly African-American community. And we know that the African-American community does not have a lot of resources at will, like California, like New York City. We, we need to give them opportunities. And so you know, four points, this is start is, is point number one, that this is the, what we call the Southeast region, you know, I'm sorry, the Southwest region, excuse me, the Southeast region will be coming soon. And, and so it's, it's moving into those demographics that we want to have more experience on. And so we're ready to go. And uh, I'm excited for it. Kelly and, Curtis, Kelly Curtis asked the question, do you have a link to the website? I don't know if she's, I'm, I'm assuming I'm using I'm using my int intuition assuming that she is asking for a link to the website for the expo it's circle of chi.com it is circle of chi chi is qi.com it's c-i-r-c-l-e-o-f-q-i.com and if you just click on four points expo all the information is right there 
Kelly, if that was the question you were asking, don't you don't have to respond. If you want something different, you send me a personal message. I will get with Victoria and get your question answered. Let's see what's going on in the room. All you crazy people. You so cray cray, all of you. I love it. Will there be someone there that does iridology? Not at, not to my knowledge. A lot of the people that are, have given me descriptions have not specified all of their backgrounds. So, you know, if, if they do, I'm not aware of it. Um, check out the website. And you can look at the names and you can and see if they have it on their information. But to my knowledge, I don't have anybody doing that. I don't, I don't even think, do you know what iridology is, Keith? I'm not familiar with that. It has to do with the eyes. Uh, Philip, thank, Pullion, thank you for sharing the website. Very cool. And Kelly says, yes, how cool. Everybody's on board doing their thing. Iridology, if I'm not mistaken, has to do with a study of the eye. Listen to this. There are people who are clinicians, master, whatever the title is you need to have to be an iridologist, mm -hmm. they will look into your eyes and as you listen to certain, as you heal yourself, if you could find something, someone's working with you, when you clear something and heal it, your eyes will literally change color permanently. It's a ref it's a manifestation of said healing that transpired in a person da 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 da, and you know what? There is, and don't take me out of context, anyone. Uh uh uh. You don't want to challenge me that way, and I don't want to butt hurt you. But I'm curious because I have a very endowed spiritual friend of mine, and I've seen it often that people are trying to create blue eyes. They're trying to get their irises blue. Why it's not because they're trying to become an Aryan race that Hitler was trying to spawn. That's not what I'm talking about. But maybe the idea of blue eyes that Hitler was trying to create or through this ridiculous idea of his, that he knew something. He knew that the blue eyes represent a clearing of karma, a clearing of energy. They were, they, the Nazis, were looking for a Christed soul or something powerful that, that would show up in the form of a coffin or a chest like the Ark of the Covenant. Steven Spielberg knew something. So the idea is, so that being said, iridology is a study of the eyes and the changing properties it can, has, it can have when doing spiritual work. I think that's correct. Maybe someone can tell me. I think, uh, Ka Carolyn, is it right? <laughs> hello Carl, hello Rena, welcome to Center of Light Radio everyone. Victoria, before we go, I think we have a lots of information that you and I have supplied here tonight about the excitement, the powerful illuminous event that's going to happen September 21st and 22nd. I suggest, but you don't have to listen to me, I say if you're coming in from out of town, you get on the car Friday. Drive yourself to Memphis. Come watch me play music. Hang out. We'll have a whole bunch of ridiculous fun. Get you some rest. Well, you might want to hang out with me. We ain't going to get much rest. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. Get yourself to the spiritual fair and light up. What would you like to leave us with, dear, on Center of Light Radio um, to close off this event that could make it easy for people to say yes to get in their car and come to Memphis? Just come on and enjoy all the experience. You're going to get uh, $10 for the weekend, $15 for a single day. That's including 15 free workshops. Um, we're going to have two paid workshops. Keith's paid and, and Larry's are both paid workshops for the weekend. So those are going to be $10 extra, but they're well worth the money, well well, well worth the time that you're going to spend there. Um, 9 o'clock to five, nine o'clock to 6 o'clock on Sunday the 21st and 10 to 4 on Sunday the 22nd. That's six months away, but it's coming around that corner quick. But there's a lot going on between now and then that we're going to keep pushing and pushing because it's all about knowledge. It's all about knowledge and renewing the experience. There are going to be speakers all day, both days? Yes. And mine is one of them that you have to pay for. How cool is that? That's just a <laughs> reflection of my heart and the work that I do and how much I love it. Thank you, Victoria. That's just lovely of you. You're welcome. You're worth, you're worth it. <laughs> Would oh, you lovely? Would you please announce? Someone asked. No, you stated earlier that if they go to a certain place and type in Center of Light Radio or whatever it is code that they can find out. Would you announce that fully, please? Yes. If you go to the website circleofchi.com and again that's circle c i r c l e of q i dot com 
and you go to get tickets, and if you use Center of Light as a coupon code at checkout, you'll get $5 off per, per ticket up to five tickets. So $25 in savings if you get five tickets. There's going to be specials. I don't know what my specials is. Uh, I'm setting myself up so I have to hold true. I'm going to run some specials, maybe some readings, some freebies. I like freebies. It's a hell of a business, a heaven of a business card, and it pulls you and I into the same circle as friends forever because I will find you. I will stalk you. I will always be there with you. Victoria, thank you so much, dear. Thank you. Everyone, Victoria Smith, Spiritual Fair Expo, four points, circle of key, per circle of chi, circle of qi, Dot com, I believe it's in this forum. You can also find it on Facebook. I'm going to go into my second hour of Center of Light Radio with a mysterious guest and a mysterious topic. And it's going to be crazy. I have video footage of crazy shit. And Brian is going to step in and step up and step out with information. I gave his name away. I'm going to play a couple of songs because I'm a contact Brian. Harden is my guest tonight. Might even play a video. We're going to start shortly. Take eight, ten minutes to get you something to eat. Use the restroom. Get you something to drink. Fall into yourself. We are going to have a ridiculous, crazy time. Going to be right back on Center of Light. Time to trust and a time to know. 